Hey, 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 what's up, good people? Shelby here, welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing a late but probably still great BoxyCharm review. This is for the BoxyCharm Sunshine Box. It's the Boxy Basic or BoxyCharm minus premium or the next level up. Anyways, if you follow my channel, you know that I have a love-hate relationship with the amount of things I get from BoxyCharm. I love what I get but I usually end up giving them to you. Um, so I'm sure that this is all working out for y'all, my wonderful viewers. By the way, if you are not a subscriber, but you would like to win, you should go down to the bottom. Like, comment, subscribe, am I in the family? We do a giveaway every single month and every time you comment is a new chance to win. So go find the previous videos for July. There's only two, I think. I was light this month. It's been a weird month. Go find the previous videos. Leave me some comments, you know, relevant comments, not, hey, hi, it's raining. That is not a comment. Answer the question at the end of the video. It's usually the question of the week and you're entered to win. And you are going to win actually the best items out of my boxy charm for the previous month, okay? If you'd like to see what that looks like, you can just look right here at the picture. You can also check me out on my Instagram. I am at Shelby Ruth A on Instagram. Literally the same thing it says on my YouTube channel. See a live video of me telling you all the amazing stuff that's in that giveaway. So if you're interested, I mean, do yourself a favor. Stay till the end. Subscribe. Answer the question. All right. Let's hop into this video, okay? Okay. So Boxy Sunshine. This is the July box, which I, I guess I feel good about the name. Um, because there is sunshine, it's just that I think I'm a little bit salty because of Rona. I can't fully enjoy it. Like, realistically, I should have been, you know, on somebody else's palazzo or somebody else's savannah in the sun. Not in my backyard in Richmond, California. Not that I don't love my backyard. You know, I'm just saying. It would have been nice to be in some foreign sunshine. You know? They won't even let us in right now. We are banned. America is 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 banned. <laughs> it's funny because I'm trying not to cry. Passport is so dusty. She dusty, y'all. Some of y'all talking about your your nighttime activities. Ooh, I ain't been on a date. Ain't nobody been holding my hand. I can't get down in my Fenty Savage. Bump that. My passport is dusty. Okay, and I go out and I fan her out. You know, dust the you know dust the cobwebs off, and then I put it back. Because don't nobody want her. My passport is lonely. Lonely. Mm. Anyways, boxy sunshine. So I know you know what's in this box. I'm going to use some items in it. Not everything because I got to save some stuff for my good giveaway, you know. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the things that I'm excited to try. There's actually two skin related slash skin makeup related items that I want to use. And a third item that I'm kind of on the fence about. We'll see what happens. But... Let's hop into this. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna pull out of here is the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Now, Shelby is already moisturized, but I, I wanna see how this smells and how this feels, and I love a good serum. Um, I gave away a really good one, I think, in my last box because I just didn't feel like it was right for me to keep it, but ooh, watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. I need to smell this, let's see. It has a smell, but it smells like skincare. It doesn't smell like pineapples, which is a, what I was hoping for. But okay, Vitamin C Brightening Booster Serum. The complexion for glowing skin protects against UV damage and helps reduce eventual signs of aging. Which is a glass bottle, so you know, be careful. And this is $49. I'm gonna put this in my palm so I don't cry. Ooh, I like when they're syrupy, okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on on top of that, just a little bit more, cause it can't just be the serum. That won't work. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, skin. Yes, skin. The next thing I'm going to be using is the the Cream Shop Clean Canvas Cushion Primer. Now this is supposed to have a purple undertone, which it gives me a little bit of anxiety because purple usually pulls kind of gray. And I might not actually, I might not use this actually. I might give this to somebody if I can get it open without ripping up the box. Because here's the thing, it's got a purple cast to it. Oh, but the packaging is so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I've never used anything from them before, but 
has a purple cast to the primer. Okay, it's got a little cushion inside and a little pad. I'm not going to touch the pad, but I'm going to open it so you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, well, shoot. I'm concerned that this is going to have a purple cast and it says for sallowness, but I'm too melanated, I think, for sallowness. Like, hey Siri, what does sallow mean? According to Google and Siri together, sallow has to do with skin that has lost its natural complexion. I'm going to put this back in the box. I know that I have a few of you that follow me that are a little bit fairer, a little bit lighter on the melanin side of the scale. Like you, you, yours is a little bit different. Hopefully one of you gets this because I am not trying to play myself. Okay, I'm back. This came from a previous BoxyCharm box. As you can see, she's practically empty, okay? I use her. This is the No Pore Blim Primer. No color correction, but really, really great at, in my opinion, blurring and also keeping my makeup on. All right, so we're gonna just put her on. And no, I don't remember how much she cost. So, you know, I'd have to Google it for you. But I mean, me Googling it is just like, if you Googled it, except that I gotta do it. And like, who does that make sense for? The last thing that I actually am excited to use, this is by Ciate London. I've gotten a few things from them over my boxy charm tenure, I guess. I've been a member for a while. They like Ciate London. I actually like Ciate London too. Uh, this is a dewy coconut setting mist. Now, coconut has recently become popular out of nowhere. Uh, this retails for $22 since Huda released hers, but like it's popular again with Huda's release and a few others. Ooh, packaging. <gasps> packaging. Let's do some skin. Like I've laid, you know, the primer down. Now it's time for skin. Um, I am going to start out with some of my Farsali uh, Jelly Bean in Rose Gold. Rose Golds. And I'm going to take some of these and I am going to, ooh, too much, too much. Much, I am going to start to highlight underneath where my makeup is gonna go and oh it is sliding across this primer oh can you can you oh my gosh hello all right my foundation for today is actually hmm, all of my complexion creams and liquids today are actually gonna be really budget friendly so shout out to me um, I did good. I feel like I'm always hella expensive with my stuff and I'm not trying to be, but like my grandmother says I have champagne taste. She also said I have beer bottle pocket, but that has not been proven. And I feel like for her to make that assumption is like, it's kind of rude, but you know, I mean, I guess she would know, you know, I mean, anyways. So, I mean, I think she would know, but like the whole point is I need to deny it because I, I don't want her to be right. Like, I'm not like that. I'm not. Anyways, are we seeing this color match right here? Mm. Yeah. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in the shade 340 Cappuccino. Okay. The under eye highlight that I will be using is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in the shade Golden Amber. This does not smell good. It does not. The Maybelline smell good. This does not smell good. I'm going to blend in the forehead and then I'm going to let the under eye sit for a second. Haven't done that in a while. I'll do my contour while we're waiting also. Boop. For my contour, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 56. This is just a contour, this is not a, uh, a bronzer. Yeah, I feel like I could have done the ColourPop stuff more justice, you know? Boop. I guess the reason I feel like I probably could have done it a little bit more justice is just because like, I saw it when it came out and I mean, I thought it was cute, but when it first came out, I thought, oh, you know, I really want to try this because it's affordable and it's from a brand that I already like. Like, what's not to love? Boop. And they were super affordable, but for whatever reason, I never really fell in love with the concealers themselves. They're fine. I never fell in love with them. And then I just didn't really try to get that, I don't know, that familiar with like, 
the foundation or um, like the blushes. Like I do have a powder from them that I like that I of course don't have right in front of me. But um, there's just, there's plenty of stuff from ColourPop that I probably could have fallen in love with and I just, I just didn't. Let's see, let's set our under eye with, I'm set with my Huda Beauty powder. Also not in the kit, but you know, it's fine. I mentioned to y'all that I pretty much stopped baking entirely. Like I set my face, I'm still setting with the Huda powder. I set my face and stuff, but for the most part, I really don't, I really don't bake that much. Like I'll set my face with it. Um, but as far as like waiting for the powder to bring the brightness, that's not really the goal. I might use a colored powder in general, but my goal isn't for it to like bring the brightness that I didn't put there already. It's just to, um, to set and maybe to sh shift the color, maybe to make it a little bit more golden maybe, but it's not really to lighten it up. And I know for a while, because I was afraid of brighter colored under eye highlights, I would use darker shades and then I would brighten them up with the powder, which you can totally do. It's personal choice. It's your face, your style. But um, I was doing that and then I realized, well, maybe you should just go lighter and then you can, then you don't have to do as much, I guess. Or maybe it's the same amount of work. I don't know. But I, I, I would get the color I wanted or the brightness I would want, the contrast on my face that I wanted, going in with the Jouer bronzer palette that I fell in love with, the deep to dark bronzer duo. Um, I would get the color I wanted you know, from jump and then I wouldn't be like surprised when it would shift, which is generally what would what happens if I go really bright and then I use a colored powder, the color changes and then I get scared. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, am I too bright? And for this palette, I'm using the lighter side. And I use the darker side on my jawline. And then using just a fluffy brush that has no product on it. Okay, so natural skin finish, clean brush, gonna just buff it so everything is a uh, blendy you know and like Flynn blended like it's mine as natural as possible like I grew it like I woke up like this you know lay it down lay it down I am going to Ooh, I want to spray my face but I'm, I'm like I want to wait I'm gonna spray my face with the everyday vacay This is, oh, the top is nice too. It feels plastic even though it looks metallic, but it's plastic. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. Ooh, if you like pina coladas and caught in the rain. You know, I wasn't born when that song came out, so I'm not gonna trip, but this smells good. Okay, it's called Everyday Vacay. This is making me feel like I'm on the beach that my passport is not allowed to go to in the foreign sunshine that Americans are not allowed to enter. Yeah. This was a good idea. <laughs> this was a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I, when I finished crying about where I could not go, uh, I went ahead and took a moment and I sprayed my face, did my brows and put on a little bit of blush. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm together even if I'm, you know, still here. Anyways, okay, so. Let's talk about the eyes. I feel like I need a simple but blown out green eye. So I am going to be using a, well, it's not from BoxyCharm. I'm gonna use the Vita side of the Melt Cosmetics, uh, Vida y, um, no, Vida y Muerte, Life and Death palettes, okay? And uh, I'm gonna start out with the Urban Decay Waterproof Glide on Pencil. And put this in my waterline, not my waterline, in my lash line. And this is in the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil shade in, I think it's, yeah, Mildew. Such a great name. Uh, creepy image, but great name. All right, using a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend this out. Ooh. Okay. Uh, using a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend this out a little bit on my lid. And then I'm going to go in with brightest green in here which is this one right here and it's called papel picado um do i know what that means my spanish is rusty um so i'm not gonna pretend like i know what that means but at one point in my life i think i knew what it meant because I, I took spanish for like four whole bunch of years as a kid you grow up in, in california especially southern california and you you pick up you know you pick up language because they teach it to you 
oh my god look at that color all right and then i'm going to go in with a blending brush and i'm going to put a little bit of atoll and soul i'm going to put on the outer part of this and just a little bit of soul on the outside Ooh, that's, I like that. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. I really like that. I like the way the outer corner looks. I need to do something in my lower lash line. I think I'll probably just bring it down below. Let's do that. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. I think I probably need to do it on the other side. So of course, boop. So I think I did a good job. I'm gonna go ahead and add some melt, uh, what is it called? It's like Giga Dust or Micro Dust or Stargazer Highlight. Digital Highlight, Digital Highlight, that's what it's called. I'm gonna add some of this in my inner corner to my peacock looking look right here. I don't know how long it took me to figure out that if I went like crazy with my, my makeup that it would come out looking crazy, but I think I've discovered my answer. And my answer is, Take it easy. Uh, I'm gonna spray myself one more time with this coconut and I'm gonna try not to cry because it doesn't serve me, okay? Okay, all right, here we go. Mm, this feels good going on too. I, li I like this, I'm glad I opened this. I mean, I, I would have also liked to give it to you, but it's mine now. So, I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on my lashes. I'm gonna be wearing the legendary lashes from, uh, what's this gonna be called? Unscripted. And, uh, right all right, let's go in with a lip, put the primer on. I didn't show you the application of the primer because that primer is hella dirty and I couldn't find my clean one, but that one is from ColourPop. It has no color, it's just, you know, primary. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. So, lip liner, rule, house labs, boop. Next, we're gonna go in with the lipstick from Revolution Pro, again, shade Cashmere. Okay, ready, set, boop. All right, and then we'll go in with the gloss. This is a Morphe gloss in the shade Pixie. I'm just gonna put this right on top and just let it do its job. Ooh. Oh, y'all didn't, y'all didn't tell me that I forgot to boop. Hold on a second, okay? Boop, yeah. Yeah, this is what that's what I should have called this look a boop look, okay? A boop look. Yeah, I'm looking at the monitor right now, but this is this is working. This is cute. This is cute. Okay, I feel like my buns are crooked. I think it's just the angle, and you you know, there's the dog. Y'all like him. I guess he's cute. One of my friends asked me, or one of my coworkers asked me, if he was a kangaroo. And kind of yes, but no, not really. Kanga, baby puppy kangaroo. That's that's what I got. Anyways, so that's that's my semi boxy charm July review. You know, boxy sunshine. Um, let's see if I estimate the total in this box. Let's see, 49, 50, 22, uh, 72, 36, 108, uh, plus 20, 128, 128. Okay, so this is worth 148. I didn't use everything in it, but I think they said a minimum it's gonna be worth 100 bucks. I think that's that's the claim to fame. And I've never really had a box that like wasn't worth what they said it worth was worth. Although things that I used, I liked right out of the box. So I use a spray. I've already nestled it over here, you know, by itself. The Ciate London. I'm keeping that. I love her. She smells like coconut. And I'm a little less depressed every time I spray it. I am keeping the clean skin vitamin c brightening booster i'm gonna keep that and apparently you can mix it in with a few things so she's a banger i'm gonna keep her and then actually i think that's it is that it yeah that's it the other stuff is gonna go into my giveaway um and i think that you're gonna be pretty pleased with it if you get it honestly but anyways um i'm satisfied i'm happy my face is cute i think my face is cute do y'all think y'all think my face is cute do y'all think my face is cute it's important to me in this very moment. Comment down below. Uh, have you tried BoxyCharm? Do you feel like you need it? Or do you feel like you like one of the other subscription boxes more? Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go back to the previous videos for July, including that last one, June 30th. I'll give you that one. Go back to the previous videos, leave me a comment so that when I pick my winner, you will have more than one entry because that's important. 
more than one entry is important. I ain't got a whole lot of people following me and commenting, but I got enough that if you didn't comment more than once, you might be, you know, your, your win might be looking endangered, you know, just saying. Also, okay. All right. I've said bye about three times. Ciao for now.